Hi, my name is AJ and I'm the writer-director of Red Velvet Time Machine. Hi, I'm Harrison Watson and I play Rex. Hi, my name's Eleanor and I play Lola. My name's Sarah Lee and I'm playing Adeline. Hi, I'm Aid and I play Kane in Red Velvet Time Machine. Hello, my name is Lloyd McDonald. I play the part of the art teacher. Hi, I'm Jason Avanitis and I play Christian. Rex is my lead character. He's really vulnerable and sensitive. He's mute as a result of childhood trauma. Rex uh, was abused when he was younger. Rex really needs someone as like a helping hand and I think Lola is definitely that person. Christian's a bit of a bully. Uh, he picks on, on people in school, especially Rex. Rex's best friend, Lola, is based on my best friend because even though she is like the most closed book you will ever find, it doesn't stop her from protecting someone with like an iron fist. So Lola's quite like a guarded character, which I think makes her quite protective of Rex, um, because obviously he needs someone there that's going to look after him and kind of fight his battles because he, he doesn't feel like he can do that himself. The fact that he has that vulnerability, Christian thinks, Oh, I can use this. Lola kind of comes along at a point where Rex really needs help. She kind of saves him. And while she's got her own vulnerabilities, she's built up a guard and it takes a lot for her to let Rex in. He's kind of jealous that Rex gets treated differently. So Rex is kind of that person that um, is there for her. And um, Rex is so gentle and kind that she feels like she can talk to him and she can let her guard down. She goes from being in an abusive relationship and, you know, quite a lot of coercive control in that relationship as well, to doing what she knows is best and seeing that she needs to get out of that situation to protect her children. Kane is a unpleasant, complicated chap. Adeline creates this story called The Red Velvet Time Machine, which helps Rex to escape from the trauma he's experiencing at home. I love The Red Velvet Time Machine because it's somewhere where he can go with his mum when he was little, and he's still got that kind of, let's go to The Red Velvet Time Machine, it's like his escape. I feel that it's very, very relatable in terms of people helping you and supporting you through whatever problem you have, and then just coming out on the other side as we see that his character develops and he's able to speak again, which is quite nice actually. He really wants to kind of um, encourage his passion and, and see him make it through. Showing how strong someone can be when they're faced with adversity 